Hi everyone, I made a new bed. This time it's freestanding, cause the wall I had to use this time wasn't as sturdy as my last one. I started by taking apart my old bed, so I could reuse all the wood. And reuse these two kitchen cabinets. I also got three new ones that were given to me. So my mom has taken out the doors. I put the two cabinets that are going to be the outside of my bed against each other and screwed them back together in three places so I can slide them around as one. Next I put these little pieces of felt underneath the kitchen cabinets so I can slide them around without damaging my floor. And I do the same for all the kitchen cabinets on the other side. After I decide the placement for each of the kitchen cabinets, I just screw them together with some planks. I don't know what to call them. I use wood. So I can slide these three around as one piece as well. So because those three new kitchen cabinets were a bit higher than the ones I already had, I had to stack some planks just to get the right height for the other side. Again, screw everything straight into the kitchen cabinets. All my planks were already cut to size because I cut them for my last bed. That's why I could use them as kind of a spacer to see how far apart my cabinets had to be. I already screwed in one at the front and one at the bottom so I could be sure it wouldn't accidentally slide anymore and then I used this makeshift spacer to get the rest of the planks in about the right spot. It doesn't have to be perfect. You may have to pre-drill some parts but again because I used the wood for my last bed everything was already pre-drilled. So because most of my weight is going to be in the middle of the bed, I took this wooden beam and I screwed in a beam for the top, one for the middle and one at the bottom at my feet so it can help carry the weight. I must admit I pretty much eyeballed it, but it turned out to be quite straight. And because the wood I used wasn't sanded properly and I didn't want to do it. I just covered it all with a spare sheet so it wouldn't damage my mattress. I just sewed in some ribbon so it wouldn't slide away and then it's ready to put your mattress on. So for me because I have this very small studio apartment I use my closet as a divider. This is why I didn't put the doors on the outside cabinets anymore, so now I can reach underneath my bed from the side. So this is the space underneath the bed. Two kitchen cabinets, and another one over there, and then the space in between, and the last kitchen cabinet. Cabinets, it's two. Still quite a lot of space, it's just... A lot harder to get it underneath than it was in my last bed so I managed to stuff all my clothes plates underneath here which are a lot and I still have some room to put back these shelves so this was my freestanding bed if you want to see the bed that I made before that I screwed into the wall you can check out my old tutorial that will be linked in the description and if you want to see more tutorials you can subscribe to my channel